Gary, is he in favor to John McKinney? Senator McKinney, the issue of bringing back tolls to Connecticut, uh, Connecticut's highways has been studied uh, seemingly to death. Operating expenses in this budget. As governor, I will not take one penny from the special transportation fund. We have a governor who's wasted over $562 million on a useless busway to nowhere, a nine-mile stretch from New Britain to Hartford, and as governor, if I can stop it, I will do anything I can to do that. We need to direct the transportation dollars we have to transportation projects. We have roads and bridges that are in desperate need of repair. We need to spend the money to upgrade our Metro North infrastructure as well, instead of spending that money on other priorities in the budget. If we keep the money in the transportation fund, we have enough to sustain. And you know, let me just agree with what Mark said as well. The last time Connecticut cut the gas tax, we actually generated more gasoline tax revenue because instead of going from Danbury into New York, instead of going from Enfield into Massachusetts or, or uh, Stonington into Rhode Island, people stayed home. Not only did they buy their gasoline, but they bought their other sundries as well, whether it's cigarettes or beer or anything else, and we lost all of that revenue. We don't have a revenue problem. We have enough money. We just need a governor who understands our priorities. I couldn't agree more with my colleague. Uh, as ranking member of the Transportation Committee, we've studied this issue up one side and the other. We've come to Danbury. We see that 40% of the Danbury Mall residents come from New York. And you put a toll there, you can see how that would affect the economy there. There's no question. It's not equitable. People are taxed too much in Connecticut. This is just one more tax to put on top of them. In fact, um, what we should really be doing is fixing our rail infrastructure and it's a mess, you know that. In fact, the entire state of Connecticut's transportation has been derailed. We need a long-term plan to modernize our transportation system throughout the state, and we should be looking at ways to put freight on rails and on ports. And that means fixing our deep water ports as well. It's all tied together. When those trains went down, by the way, for 11 days, 95 became a parking lot. It all works together. And yes, we do have a spending problem, not a revenue problem. The transportation fund has been raided year after year in the hundreds of millions of dollars. It represents some of that surplus, that fictitious surplus we were just talking about. We need to stop doing that and prioritize where the state belongs and it belongs in fixing our infrastructure before it does anything new anywhere else on speculative projects in the hundreds if not billions of dollars. As I mentioned before, look, we have a spending problem driven by a culture problem in the General Assembly and, in, and driven by administrations. So let's be very clear. You can't give them another dime. If you give them more money, whether it's tolls, fees, whatever, they're going to come up with every racky program you can to spend it on. So we have to understand that we have to change the culture of what we do in the legislature as well as what the administration does. And I just want to say one other thing about the busway. As long as I, when I'm governor of the state, not one subsidized bus will run up and down that nine miles. If it can't pay for itself, we're not going to be having any buses on that busway. No tolls. My son, a couple years ago, Joey, he lives in New York with my daughter, and they, uh, they were going to come home on the Megabus. <laughs> and my son said, I can't take it. It went off uh, in Brooklyn, went off the road. So trying to get from New York back home to West Hartford is always a hassle. So we haven't, uh, we haven't looked at the uh, electric rail all the way to Springfield. And I just read a piece this morning on the governor and uh, the uh, Metro North. We've got to have an adult conversation about reworking the contract. There's a one-year extension. Um, where we can actually opt out with Metro North, but rather than um, you know, go, go at Metro North as though they're enemies, we really have to say let's start to think about investing and redoing electric and get the grid because Connecticut, I believe, will become more and more desirable if we get a Republican governor in and we start to turn the state around. More and more New Yorkers may think about coming here, which is going to bring more traffic in. So, but I do believe we have a revenue problem. Why? because very soon we will not be able to borrow anymore at a low cost of interest. And then the revenue problem will kick in and they won't be able to feed the beast. So we need to start looking at initiatives 
uh, such as my sale, sales tax phase out, inheritance, but everything has to be done in phases and slowly. We cannot overpromise the public. We can do all these things and we need to just have the courage to stand for our convictions as Republicans and uh, don't take no for an answer and don't sign any budget if you're the governor that isn't to your liking. Next